really sorry if this video is like out of focus or I'm like half cut off or whatever. I apologize because this is the first time I'm using my back camera because I always use my front camera because then I can see myself but the back camera is supposed to be better so I'm trying to give you guys the best quality. So where should we begin? Um, so I've been gone for a really long time and I don't know how long because I just know it's been a really really long time I feel so guilty and bad about it because I wanted to be very consistent on here and I feel like for me to come back and you know be consistent again I should give you guys a run backwards about why I've been gone and why I've been so sporty with my uploads um and I will get into that now so first year I was I did videos here and there I wasn't consistent consistent but I was you know I was enjoying myself and I was putting videos out here there everywhere and then second year came and yeah it just went way to the back of my mind sorry if you can hear the wind outside it's just so windy but yeah so second year was just the worst time of my life the worst time of my life um everything was going on at once i was having problems with uni um i was my anxiety was getting extremely bad and for someone that never experienced anxiety before university it was quite daunting because it's like i need to learn how to um handle my anxiety as well as learn why i'm feeling um anxiety as well um and it was just a lot to deal with at once and for me to do it by myself as well is a very hard thing because um i tried to do appointments with the like the uni therapist and things like that and i just couldn't go like every time i booked an appointment my anxiety would kick in wouldn't let me go i wouldn't be able to leave the house to go to my appointment i would make excuses to my therapist saying i can't come because bloody bloody blah, blah and it, i just kept pushing it back i still haven't gone to the therapist i will go when i go back but um i didn't go and it made things worse um so i was dealing with a lot of things in uni uh i didn't have any friends at uni i didn't have um anyone in my class that would talk to me or sit next to me or ever wanted to be on my team i was pretty much a solo person like um i've even done group work by myself because other people didn't want to work with me um and it's not that i'm an unlikable person i i would never pin myself as an unlikable person because i'm quite cheery i'm quite joyful and i don't feel like i'm too much either so i feel like it's just a thing where people aren't used to me like my skin color just me being black i feel like people aren't used to that because the majority of people that go to my uni are from white areas um and some of them had never even seen a black person before um i've had many come up to me and say like ask me such stupid questions but you can't blame them because they're curious and they've never seen a black person before but the questions are still stupid but anyway um so yeah i was dealing with anxiety with uni i wasn't going to my lectures i wasn't going to my seminars because i just couldn't handle being in a classroom with a bunch of people that i knew didn't like me and never wanted to work with me so i just thought it wasn't very embarrassing to be in the classroom when everyone's looking at you like you're an outcast and you always take the the table on the side of the corner so no one can see you uh, um, and notice that you're being ostracized, ostrac ostracized um, and all these things. Like the only friends I had in uni were from the ACS um, or external friends from outside of the uni, um, like from my workplace and stuff. Um, and they were never at uni or around me. So I was always by myself. Um, and yeah it just made my life really really hard and then i was dealing with other things as well at home um like in my uni home and at home 
um and it was just too much at once like um problems with family members problems with other people and um it all just got a bit too much like many many times i thought about dropping out um i was very very close i spoke to my tutor about it and um he was giving me advice on what i should do if i wanted to and what if i didn't want to like who i should speak to or what route i should take and i was so close to dropping out because i just couldn't handle it all at once and i was working as well at Sainsbury's um and it was hell there because <laughs> the managers and some of the people that i worked with and um the customers that i would get it was just a lot to put on a student um like i'm a student working basically a manager's role as well as doing uni work and feeling anxiety and dealing with things at home dealing with things in my home in london and it was just too much um so i just never youtube didn't cross my mind it didn't cross my mind at all because it was meant to be something that i did like for fun something that i enjoyed but i just i couldn't bring myself to even do it um so that's why like what that's one of the reasons why i didn't come back to youtube or do any recording like um the ones that you saw i forced myself to smile like i was not happy like i was just in a really bad place and me i'm not the type of person to go speaking to people about my problems i rather they stay my issues because i feel like so many other people are going and dealing with so many things i don't want to put my problems as a burden on someone else i never want to have to do that i, I want to be there for someone not them have to be there for me so like you would never know if i was upset or if i was dealing with something because i will always keep it to myself like you would never know unless i told you and that would be very rare for me to tell you um and like i'm really bad at opening up like i know that for sure that i'm very bad like i know there's some people that would tell you their whole life story within the first five minutes of meeting but that's just not me like it it wouldn't even take 10 years of meeting like it would take i don't even know how long because there's people that i've known my entire life that still don't know a lot of things about me and it's just because i don't want them to feel burdened by any type of information um and then there was a lot of phases that I was going through that um, changed me um, and I didn't know. I was trying to figure out myself. I was trying to understand myself because I was changing and I wanted to understand who I was changing into, whether I liked that person or if I didn't like that person. And um, I feel like when you're trying to figure yourself out, you need space, you need time. Um, and all those things couldn't be done on YouTube because before I put myself out there, I need to make sure that I'm 100%. If I'm not 100%, I can't be giving anybody else anything of me, not even seeing me. You will not unless I know myself 100%. And yeah, I just felt like I was surrounded by a lot of fake people and I was just not comfortable with that as well um, and then in a lot of my trauma that I was feeling and going through um, I managed to find and gain some really really amazing friends um, that I will literally hold to my heart till the day that I pass like because um, me I had my childhood friends that I know that are going to be there for the rest of my life. I, I, they can all fit on one hand. And when I went to uni, I wasn't counting on meeting any lifelong friends because I feel like there's a whole stigma and pressure on people to find lifelong friends in university. But because I really felt like I made them, I didn't feel the pressure as much, but I did feel a pressure to make friends. And I feel like it took me way longer than I thought it would 
to make friends because me i'm not the type of person that can just call anybody my friend like pardon me if i meet you on the street we have a good conversation or whatever and we have a call a couple times together i'm not gonna call you my friend because you've never shown me anything that would make me require you as my friend like you're an acquaintance you're somebody i get along with but to call someone your friend i feel like that's a very big statement and very few people in my life even come under that a lot of people are acquaintances or people that i can get along with but very few people are my friends and i've always been that way i feel like you can't be thrown away the throwing around these um titles because then certain people feel entitled to certain things in your life or feel entitled to hold and um learn certain information about you to give to other people and to avoid that don't call everybody your friend um so yeah so that's what i was dealing with and then i gained some amazing friends towards the end of second year um and they were amazing uh and they still are amazing i love them to pieces they know who they are um and yeah and then when the whole pandemic started i was just like damn like this is really like putting breaks on a lot of stuff like like i was trying to find a placement for my third year i'm still trying to find it because the whole covid19 situation it's put a pause on a lot of people's placements um and certain companies aren't wanting to hire people because they can't afford it um so i'm still trying to find the placement that not just that pays me but has a good experience within it so i'm not just going anywhere just for the sake of it being there but i want to find a good place and that was stressing me out a lot because it's so much pressure because you have to find them yourself you have to go through the whole interview process it's not quick it's not uh okay that's the company i want to work at and that's where you're going to go they have to accept you they have to go through the whole process of interviewing some companies have about three or four stages um a lot of companies that um i looked at had loads of stages and these things don't take is not quick these things take time so um i was getting stressed out a lot about that because i was like damn if i don't get a placement and i already had my um accommodation for next year i need to be in bath or bristol and da 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 and all of this all of this pressure was just on my head and um i felt like nobody could understand why i was so stressed um so and that annoyed me even more because i was just like damn like everyone's saying it's not that deep it's not that deep but it is that deep like put yourself in my shoes then you will see why i'm so stressed but no one could see it so i was dealing with a lot of that by myself I still am um but now it's a bit more controlled I feel a bit better about certain things because I was able to let go about there was one particular placement I was holding on to and because of the virus they were like oh that certain things were getting in the way and they were going to get back to me when um they have a plan but they still haven't um and that really broke my heart because I was set on that place and nobody could understand why I was so set on it but it's okay as long as i know no one else needs to know it's fine um so yeah that was very stressful in itself so um and covid19 interrupted my driving as i'm sure it did for a lot of people um so i haven't been able to take my test and they pushed it even further because they don't think they are ready for the the close contact yet um and what else has been an issue why i haven't come back onto youtube um another thing that stopped me because i was really ready like i was trying to create a new um intro a new banner and all these things and then the accusation started and um all these things about sexual assault and rape and um all these things and uh bringing up old stories and the list and all of that stuff and it was on everything it was on all my social media and i couldn't avoid it and it was just terrible it was just bringing back a lot of memories that i've wanted to keep to myself and 
not have to think about or remember um and i really really couldn't handle it um yeah i really couldn't handle it it was just a lot and i needed space so i even took um I, like i think i took about a week or, or something off of social media because i was just like all the stories and stuff like i don't know who told me to go read some of the stories but i read them and it put me even in a worse place and i just spiraled and um i needed to be closed off because it dealing with that kind of thing is not easy it's really really hard especially when um there's so many other people out there that have the same experiences as you and you're just like damn like me and you are in the same boat but like it's just it's just not nice um so i had to take a my space i had to take a break i needed to move away from the world for a little bit um until it cooled down a bit um so when it did that that's when i decided to come back on social media and i wanted to take my youtube seriously because i really enjoy doing it like i enjoy watching youtube i enjoy i just enjoy it it's just fun it's beautiful and I want you guys to feel like you are getting to know me as a person um, and you're seeing the raw me because I don't want to be a fake person. I want to be that person where you're like, damn, like you're so transparent, you're so um, nice, you're so loving, caring. I want you to see that. I don't want to come across as a fake person that hides her feelings and you never know what she's really thinking. I don't want to be that person. So, um, and I really want people out there to be able to speak to me if they feel like they need to speak to me because I know what it feels like. They feel like nobody's there. Nobody's there for you. No one cares about you. I know what it feels like. Um, even if you have so many people around you, I know what it feels like and I don't want other people to feel that way. So like, I will always say that if you ever need anyone to speak to, I am here. My social media is, is down below. DM me, message me, whatever. Um, because I feel like nobody should be alone and ever feel like they have to be alone. So yeah. I'm there for you in that sense if you ever need it. Um, also, anyone that's coming to Bath University or Bath Spa University and you want someone to talk to, um, someone to give uh, you advice about things, um, please feel free to come to me. I'm, I'm in the ACS of Bath University, um, but I also am around campus and Bath Spa a lot. So if you need to talk to me, if you um have something to ask me feel free please please do because i feel like having someone is so important having someone you can speak to is important don't hold things in because it makes it worse and you put yourself in a darker place so even if it's not even something upsetting even if it's something happy you just want to tell me something you just want you just had a good day you want to tell me to go ahead because you know it, it will make you feel better so yeah um i've been gone for a long time but i hope i'm here to stay this time um but yeah but yeah, I think I'll do another video on my anxiety because like ever experiencing it for the first time and how much I felt it. Um, I'll definitely do a video on that because I feel like that's important and people need to know about it. Um, as well as like, you know, depression and other feelings that can make someone feel very alone and in a dark space um and invisible um i would definitely do a video on that but 
I just wanted to let you guys know where I've been and um, keep you updated but hopefully you're gonna see more of me um i hope you like my hair i never do anything with my hair i always do a middle part side part and that's it like i never do anything and today i was like i couldn't do two bones so i did it on my maybe i'll do a video on it i literally i didn't do it on my head because i was scared like i was gonna lift my lace when i'm doing it so i did it on my mannequin first and then i put it on my head that's what i did i think i'm gonna do that from now on because i can see what i'm doing i don't like doing my hair on my head because i feel like i'm just messing stuff up um but yeah i hope you like it my two little puff puff things um but thank you so much for listening please feel free to message me dm me and speak to me about anything because i'm here for you if you feel like nobody else is um and yeah i'll see you in my next video bye